Welcome back to the Raiders franchise, and we are one win away from getting back to the Super Bowl. But we're going to have to get through the Houston Texans here in the AFC Championship game. The Texans looking for their first Super Bowl appearance. Can they get the job done? But can we still remain unbeaten, have a chance at a perfect season, and go back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions? A huge game here, obviously, AFC Championship game. But, you know, for the Texans, like I said, there could be their first ever appearance in the Super Bowl. So they want to, you know, make Houston proud. They want to get a huge win here. But we got a history on the line for us, undefeated. Here we go, AFC Championship game is underway we've been dominant the entire season when that pressure just continues to build and build and build how do we deal with it so here comes Tua. come came over in free agency they signed him they trade cj stroud to the dolphins almost kind of like a swap but two has been playing well obviously getting this team to the afc title game and here we go first and 10 from the 25 play action to a looking just dumps it off to pierce and pierce is going to break off one tackle oh way he'll bring him down and that actually will be a first down as he reached the ball out there gets the spot move the chains second down and eight to a back to throw looking in the pocket time underneath again but this time pierce can't come up with it drops this one incomplete and a third down and eight to a back to throw looking Time to throw again. Rolling out of the pocket, and nobody open down the field. Everybody cover, throws it away incomplete, and that's going to be a punt. Last week with Cincinnati, you know, they obviously got off to a really good start. We made some adjustments, so good start there defensively, getting the punt. And here comes our offense. Max Sampson, nearly 5,000 yards, 34 passing touchdowns, and obviously got Jalen Jenkins in the backfield. Unbelievable running back, unbelievable offense, and there is Jalen Waddle for the catch. First down. Waddle went er out early last week against Cincinnati, so hopefully he can play the full game here today. I mean, he is the best receiver in football, so he is a difference maker. Second and 11. Lob this. Isaiah Likely with the grab, and Likely's got a first down. He's up to the 38, and Likely stepped up last week. You know, Waddle goes out. You got Joseph Good, who eventually went out and could return for a Super Bowl, but likely really stepped up getting a 100-yard receiving game as here comes Jalen Jenkins with the carry, getting some really good blocks. He's down to the 21-yard line. First down. You get Jalen Jenkins rolling, it's going to be a tough day defensively for you. I mean, regardless, our offense is just unreal. As Jenkins up the middle, Jenkins room to run again. He's down to the 6-yard line and a first down. You know, we've been here before. This is our, what, third AFC Championship game in a row. Kind of the same type of guys. Jenkins tries to get around the edge. That's not going to happen this time. Going to be brought down. Where Houston, you know, you've never really been here before. you got a lot, you got a lot of young players. You're going to have that, you know, early game jitters. You just kind of really have to get through. But if we can get a lead, that's what we want. Second and goal. Samson to throw. He's going to step up, take it himself, and Samson dives forward, and he's in for the touchdown. And we are going to strike first in this AFC Championship game. Do everything you can. This is when you need playmakers to step up. Samson really didn't even have to dive there, but gets in, makes sure he gets the touchdown. 7 nothing lead. So let's see how the Texans offense responds here with their second drive. Two is going to go underneath once again to Pierce. And Pierce is cut down there by Patterson close to the first down. Brings up a third down and one. Sims will be able to return, but a third down and one. They're going to go to the run game. Pierce, and he cuts it to the outside when he really shouldn't have. And it's going to cost him. Christopher Smith with the tackle, and that is going to have to be a punt. But, man, Pierce, if you just... Cut it up there like you should have had it. See him shaking his head there. It should have been a first. So, big mistake. Punt. And here comes our offense again. Is Mechie with the grab. He's up to the 44-yard line. Former Texan. Would love to have, you know, probably a really nice game here against his former teammates. Move the chains. First and 10. Jenkins with the run. Cuts it up. Get near midfield. There is a flag on the play. And more than likely, that's going to be on us. It is. Holding call is going to bring that one back. So Horn, the guilty party there, and now a first down and 20 from our own 34. 
Samson back to throw. Has some time. Stepping up in the pocket. You know what? He's going to take this one himself again. Has some room. Slides down. Just short of the first down. Hey, if they're going to give it to you, you might as well take it. You know, middle's open. He's got the speed and agility to get away from guys. Get 19. Then give it to Jenkins. Get the first down up to the 42-yard line. We'll take that. Move the chain so that holding call doesn't hurt us. Second and 10 now. Samson to throw. And just nobody open down the field. Runs out of time. Bartell there with the sack. And now brings up a third and 17. Obviously a tough one. Got to be careful here. They're bringing some heat. Samson outside. Caught by Waddle. He is just a tad short. Couple yards. Tough decision. But you know what? Let's bring out Daniel Carlson. This is going to be about a 51-yard field goal attempt here. And Carlson's kick is up. It's good. Let's just rack on some points. We got Carlson, best kicker in football. 10-0 lead. So the Texans offense has got to get something rolling here. Last play of this first quarter as time runs out. Two is going to run it. Picks up four yards. But this is a big, important drive for this Texans offense. Only 24 yards in that first quarter. They got to come up with a big one here. Third down and three. They go to Pierce on the run. He's got some room to the outside. Gets a nice block. Pierce is going to get into Raider territory. And he's up to the 44-yard line. Best play of the uh, game so far for this Texans offense. Like I said, you got to kind of shake off the jitters. You need a really good drive here. At least I would say a field goal for them would work out as Tua underneath caught. And that is a first down up to the 33-yard line. Phillip Stewart, an unbelievable receiver. Great draft pick. He's a 99 overall X factor. Fantastic. They definitely hit on that one. As they go to the outside, there's Stewart. He stays in bounds, and Stewart's down to the two. So they have their big time receiver. Like he said, he's fantastic. This Texans team really has just drafted so well. As they swing it out to Pierce, who powers in for the touchdown, and the Texans are back in this game. They needed it. They needed a big-time drive, and they get it here. Touchdown, Houston. 10-7 is going to be your score here in this second quarter. Question is, is their defense, can you stop our offense right now? Picked up points on both drives. We go underneath Waddle with that speed, and he gets to that edge. Forget about it. First down, you're not going to be able to stop him. Move the chains up to the 38-yard line. First and 10, single back is Jenkins. We're going to give him the ball. Jenkins, they got some fast linebackers. I mean, Jenkins has got plenty of speed. Once he, same thing, he gets around the edge, he's tough, but a linebacker chases him down there in a third down and seven. Samson back to throw. Underneath, caught by Mechie, but that's going to be a stop. So the Texans defense does have an answer as Brooks there with the stop, and we have to punt, so... Maybe momentum and stuff going near the Texan side here as Dalton Schultz with the grab, and that's a first down of 29-yard line. So, yeah, maybe the Texans turning things around here. You know, they are the clear underdog in this game, obviously. Second and 10. Schultz again and close to a first down. Don't want to get to it in rhythm. Obviously, he can light it up with the best of them. Third and inches. Back to Pierce on the ground. Gets a block from Schultz, and that'll be enough. First down. They've been uh, pretty good on those edge runs there so far on those third down plays. And up to the 42 as we bring some heat. It's a screen, usually works on a blitz, but man, Christopher Smith is all over it. Loss of four. And now brings up a big third down. Tua from the gun. Looking, pressure coming, and Patterson is going to bring him down for the sack. Huge play. Nice job defense, which right now looks like the defenses are, you know, getting warmed up, looking pretty good. I mean, it's only a 10-7 Samson. So first and 10, Samson takes off. He was actually going to try to slide, gets clipped from behind, and then dives forward for the first down. So less than two minutes left in this first half. Here comes some heat. Samson gets rid of it quickly, finds likely for the grab, breaks off a tackle, and likely will have another first down. So we still have two timeouts. Plenty of time here. A minute left. Samson to throw outside. Has Waddle for the grab. Can't get out of bounds. So the clock's just, just going to continue to roll here. But like I said, you know what? I'm fine. You know, we're, we're almost in range here. And with a play like this, there's nobody in front of Samson. They play in a man-to-man. -man, doesn't work. Gets out of bounds. Well, takes a little shove there. 
You know, in reality, I mean, uh, quarterbacks, you got to be careful. That could have easily been an extra 15, but no call there. First and 10. Firing. Mechie's got it. No, that's Wicks. Touchdown. I thought it was Mechie at first, but it's Wicks for the touchdown, and he puts it in. What a throw from Max Sampson on the money, and we strike right before halftime. We've been fantastic the entire year offensively, and especially those areas where we can double up. We get the touchdown here at the end of the half, get the 17-7 lead, and we'll get the ball first to start off that second half. We can double up here. Winner faces either Seattle or Atlanta in the Super Bowl. So two very talented teams. Seattle's been the best the entire in the NFC, but can you close it out and get into a Super Bowl? Here we go. One half away. Who's going to be the AFC representative as Jenkins with the carry gets around four yards up to the 30 yard line. Third down and five now. Blitz off the edge. Sampson's picked up perfectly. Waddle with the grab. First down. Move the chains. I mean, they bring heat, but it's not even close. Sampson's just so good at moving in the pocket as well. And then when you got a guy like that, you know, you can find that zone, find that man. Got it. First down. Move the chains. Play action now. Sampson fires. There is Waddle again. Makes another move. Just that subtle move. Pick up the extra two or three yards. First down instead of like a second and three. Can't, you can't beat it. I mean, he's just unbelievable. Now we're going up top for him. Looking for him, but what a play to knock that ball away by Hargrove. Man, a little bit more out in front of him. Better throw. That's easily a touchdown. So they get the stop, but we'll bring out Carlson here. About a 48-yarder kick is up, and it's pretty much right down the middle. It is good. So three points. So, you know, we kind of did double up. We get 10 points out of it. And here we go. Phillip Stewart, what a grab. What a throw from two. I mean, Patterson with great coverage there. Just on the money. Big play to start that drive. Second and five. Tua gets rid of it just in time before he takes a hit. That's going to be close to a first down up to the 37-yard line and brings up a third down and one. They've been running it on third downs, but going empty here. Quick throw to the outside. Open man. Man, what happened there? Not sure what happened to the coverage, but Miranda's there for the catch first down, and down to the 14 is Houston. Tua quickly throws. Caught. Down to the three. Offense in a bit of a rhythm here for Houston. Trying to answer back. Get a touchdown. Get this to a one-possession game. Tua to throw. Underneath. Caught. Phillip Stewart, and he's in for the touchdown. So the Texans go right down the field. Tua just dotting it up, and the Texans get this to a one-possession game. 20-14 to 14 is going to be your score, and we got ourselves a pretty good AFC Championship game right now. We've been used to a lot of blowouts this year. We really have. Our team is just far superior than anybody else in the NFL. We've had some, we've had some really close games. We have just a few, really. I guess, you know, really the Kansas City games have been absolutely close. And the Baltimore game got very close at the end as Will Anderson's going to run down Sampson. And the Texans' defense gets the stop like that. And man, right now, we are in a bit of danger here because if this Texans' offense does what they did last drive, goes right down the field, we're going to be down going into the fourth quarter. Wow. Big third down here, third and three. They're going to play action, but Adafi Owe does not fall for it. Brings down Tua for a huge sack and forces a Texans punt. Wow, the, is that the guard or the tackle getting in Tua's face? What was that? So we head into the fourth quarter. Six-point lead as Denard Stamper, he is fresh, gets a first down run. One quarter away. Who's going to the Super Bowl here? Second and seven. Back to Stamper. Gets a really nice block there from Wicks. Can't make the last man miss there, but still decent run. Brings up a third down and two. Still can run it here. That's exactly what we're going to do. Jenkins cuts it up, and he's got a first down. Nice job there. Finding the lane. Has it at speed. Just one cut. See you later. First down. Move the chains. Play action now. Sampson looking down the field. Has an open man. Here is caught Jalen Waddle. 
And Waddle's going to be down to the 20-yard line and a first down. Obviously, any points here is huge. You get a field goal, two-possession lead. Touchdown, obviously, even better. So that's what we're obviously aiming for here. And we might have it here. Open man. There is Mechie. He's in for the touchdown. Well, he did get a touchdown here against his former team. And who knows? It could be your game clincher, your Super Bowl uh, appearance clincher. Mechie with the TD. Perfect play call. We're going to go for two here to obviously put it to a 14-point game. Hand this one off to Samson, but they are all, I mean, Samson with the handoff to uh, Jenkins. They're all over it. They will not get the two here, but still touchdown, 26-14. Got a two-possession lead. And with that 12-point lead, obviously now even a touchdown and a two-point conversion and a field goal doesn't get the job done. So it is a two-touchdown lead. 7-20 left. Second and one. Outside. Colt. Caught that is Dalton Schultz with the grab. And up to the 47-yard line and a first down. Try to keep as much as we can underneath. As that's a really nice play call. You're thinking pass. Nice handoff there to Pierce first down. You just want to let this clock continue to roll here. Second to five. Bring some blitz. Caught just short of the first. Doesn't really matter here. This is four down territory. They're not kicking field goals. Obviously, like I just said. They're not going for three. You got you need touchdowns. Tua. Looking and knocked away from Crosby, who's really been silent this game. The sack leader knocks it away and brings up a fourth down. And they're going from the gun. Really could run this ball here, but they're going to throw it. We're going to bring some heat to it. Fires quickly, and Stewart can't hang on to it. That was a really tough catch. Coverage is there. The ball came out quickly. I just don't think he was ready for it. I know his hands are up there, but still... Can't hang on. Turnover on downs. And now we are in prime position here to end this game. One really good drive. We can almost take the clock right out of here. Second and inches. Jenkins with the carry. Anderson is there, but it's going to be enough for a first down. And the clock just continues to roll. We got to stay aggressive here. That's exactly what we're doing as we swing it out to Mechie. Just stay in bounds. He will. Big first down. Clock will roll down. This one now, you know, we can get this under two minutes. First and ten. Jenkins cuts it back. Room to run. Close to another first down. Down to the 33. And we are looking to close this one out. You can feel it now. Second and inches, Jenkins, first down, move the chains. Let this go down to two minutes. And we're about a first down away from getting out of here. And headed to the Super Bowl once again as Jenkins is going to be stopped. Lost the two first time out, Houston. Samson, looking, firing, we're going to throw it. We're going to stay really aggressive. Catch there, but another timeout. And a third down and six, first down here, it's your ball game. Samson. Looking, finds Jenkins, and Jenkins has the catch and a first down, and we can kneel this one away. There you go. This was a very, very tough game, but we get the job done. We stay unbeaten, and we're headed to the Super Bowl with a chance at history, undefeated season, back-to-back. -back. Can we get it done 26-14 is going to be your final, and there you go. Max Sampson, 18-21, two touchdowns. I mean, he's just calm and cool. He is just an unbelievable quarterback. I, it really is. I mean, he's just absolutely fantastic. Had that rushing touchdown as well, but there you go. AFC Championship game victory. I, I'm a t that was a... I mean, when they made that stop, and it was 20-14... <laughs> got a little nervous got a little nervous they that was a solid game and take a look at this the atlanta falcons get the job done in the nfc championship game 28 21 desmond ritter leading them uh did have a pick and a touch uh one touchdown uh, deshaun Bryan. this seahawks team i thought was going to be there but when you got b john robinson one running for 135 averaging seven to carry a couple of touchdowns 
You got a nice other backup there uh, in Allen Royal. Drake London, a good game. Yeah, former Raider Jacoby Myers. We'll see him, obviously, now in the Super Bowl. So this Falcons team is very good. Whether you think Ritter's going to be the guy or not, they got a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball, a lot of talent defensively. They're not here for no apparent reason. They are solid, and we will take on the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl. Let's go through some Pro Bowl stuff. Obviously, none of our guys are going to be here due to the fact that we're in the Super Bowl. I'd still wish you get a notification like, hey, okay, these are the five, six guys, whatever the count is. These are the guys that made the Pro Bowl. I shouldn't have to go into their player profile and check and see. I should easily be able to see it on the screen, a little notification. Here are your Pro Bowl players. Here are your Pro Bowl guys. I wish they still had all pro too. I wish that was still in the game. Um, that's something they definitely need for sure. Uh, you know, just give it, give you more stuff. That's for sure. MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Max Sampson is three. Mahomes threw for 5,000 yards, led the league in touchdowns. But take a look at this. Jalen Jenkins is not even in the top 10. So pretty much, I mean, he breaks the rushing touchdown record, leads the league in rushing. Nope, not even a consideration. So, that pretty much just tells me right there. Unless you have just an insane season, like, as a receiver or a running back, you need, like, I mean, you would have to have, like, some crazy season. You're just not winning anything. Um, it's a little disappointing. I mean, not even to be in the top 10, I think that's ridiculous. So, you know what? That's going to give us... I mean, we already have motivation going into the Super Bowl, try to finish off this undefeated season. Um, say right now, more than likely will be the last game of this franchise as Jalen Jenkins does one offensive player of the year. At least Waddle is two. Um, yeah, with the MLB, the show out now, thank you guys so much. If you're right here right now, uh, you know, checking that out, giving that support. Thank you so much for that. Just hopefully continue support of that. That series should be very good with the Mets, but more than likely, this is probably it for this Raiders franchise. Um, the Super Bowl game will be it. Uh, hopefully, we'll have it out on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. So, that's what we're aiming for. Um, if you guys want, depending whatever happens, obviously, does, you know, hopefully we get the victory. But um, if you want me to sim forward a little bit, you know, one last video just to sim, maybe five, six years down the road, see how Max Sampson's career goes, see what happens with Jalen Jenkins, anything like that. If you want me to go 10 years, I could definitely do that. Uh, let me know down below in the comments. Um, but other than that, I mean, this franchise has been, I, 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 you know, this past season, I think the gameplay and the way our team has been built, like we're 93 overall. We're just so much better than anybody else. Um, they've been blowout games, not the most entertaining. Uh, the first few seasons always are the most entertaining, no doubt about it. But when you build your team up, it can be a little... You know, it could drag on a little bit, but still, getting five years out of this franchise and maybe a second Super Bowl, you cannot complain. That is awesome to see. And, um, you know, hey, it's time for baseball. But, hey, college football and NFL will be back before you know it, and we'll get into those franchises. Cannot wait to get to college football. We'll have a dynasty there. We'll have a franchise of Madden back and forth. That's going to be fun. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.